Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. It's official. Man United sign Marcel Sabitza on loan from Bayern Munich. There's no option to buy or obligation to buy. Yesterday afternoon, Marcel Sabitza was spotted at Munich Airport. Then after that, he arrived at Manchester United's Carrington training ground for his medical. The reason Manchester United got Marcel Sabitza is because of Christine Eriksson's injury. Christine Eriksson is ruled out with an ankle injury until April or early May. So Eriksson's out for around three to four months. Eriksson got the ankle injury from Andy Carroll's challenge in the 3-1 win against Reading. But Marcel Sabitza, do you think he's the right player for Manchester United? He's versatile, which is beneficial. He joined Bayern Munich in 2021. Bayern Munich got Marcel Sabitza from RB Leipzig for 16 million euros. When he officially signed for Bayern Munich, he signed a four-year contract. So he is under contract with Bayern Munich until 2025. But yeah, it was Eric Ten Hag's third signing of the January transfer window. So, in the January transfer window, we got three players on loan. Marcel Sabitza, Wout Weghorst and Jack Butland. Revert back to last summer, Ten Hag brought the likes of Terrell Molassier in, Christine Eriksson, Lissandro Martinez, Casemiro, Anthony and Martin Dubravka. You know, Eric Ten Hag has spent over £200 million as Manchester United manager. You know... He has enjoyed now two transfer windows as United manager. Uh, let me put into the equation that Ten Hag has let a lot of players go as well. Uh, on deadline day, Dishon Bernard went out on loan to Portsmouth. Sholo uh, Shortire went out on loan to Bolton. Charlie Savage went out on loan to Forest Green. Uh, last year, uh, we've seen the likes of Ronaldo get sacked. Obviously, Ronaldo's now in Saudi Arabia playing for Al Nassar. Cavani and Mata left on three transfers last year. Lingard left on a three. He went to Nottingham Forest. Uh, Hannah Balmijbry went out on loan to Birmingham. Ahmad Diallo Triar went out on loan to Sunderland. Ethan Laird went out on loan to QPR. Uh, Pogba and Matic left on free transfers. Pogba went back to Juventus. Matic went to Roma. Uh, Ten Hag sold James Garner to Everton. Sold Andres Pereira to Fulham. Loaned Alex Tellez out to Sevilla. Loaned Eric Bay out to Marseille. Loaned Dean Henderson out to Nottingham Forest. Let Lee Grant leave. <coughs> so, 
So they are the players that left Man United last year. And in the summer, uh, Ten Hag will be getting rid of more players. Um, in the summer, I think he will get rid of Harry Maguire. Unfortunately, Maguire did not leave in the January transfer window. Um, Maguire actually rejected a loan move to Inter Milan to fight for his place at Manchester United. Inter Milan inquired about taking Harry Maguire on loan from Manchester United. You know, Maguire, he's too inconsistent. Plus, he's not one of our first-choice centre-halves. He hasn't been one of our first-choice centre-halves since the arrival of Lissandro Martinez. Revert back to last season, the vast majority of Man United fans were demanding for the captaincy to be taken off him. Man United overpaid for Harry Maguire, got him for £80 million from Leicester back in the summer of 2019. When Harry Maguire officially signed for the club, he signed a six-year contract. <laughs> Lindelof, he's another one who I think will leave in the summer. Lindelof is a backup centre-half. You know, he hasn't been one of our first choice centre half since the arrival of Raphael Varane. You know, Lindelof has been at Manchester United since 2017, so he's been at the club for around seven years. We got him from Benfica in a deal worth £31 million. Lindelof is under contract with Man United till 2024. Uh, Eric Ten Hag in the summer as well will get rid of Eric Bailly permanently. Eric Bailly is at Marseille on loan at the moment. Uh, Eric Bailly, even if he came back to Man United after his loan, you know he wouldn't get in the team. Obviously, you've got Varane and Martinez that are our first-choice centre-halves. Maguire and Lindelof are our backup centre-halves. But, you know, when Bayer was at Man United, he was good most of the time when he played. But he played nowhere near as much as expected, and plus he was injury-prone, which was a concern. Manchester United got Bayer from Villarreal back in 2016 for £30 million. Uh, Tuan Zerbe, I'm expecting him to leave in the summer. You know, Tuan Zerbe doesn't get in the team. You know, Tuan Zerbe's been out of injury for a while anyway. Don't forget, before Tuan Zerbe endured three loan spells with Aston Villa. Uh, Ten Hag, I think he'll get rid of Phil Jones in the summer. You know, Jones doesn't get in the team. You know, Phil Jones has been a long-serving player at Man United. He has been with us since uh, Sir Alex Ferguson era. Jones's contract expires this year. Uh, Tellez, he will leave permanently in the summer. Like I said, he's out on loan with Sevilla at the moment. He won't be able to come back to Man United because, you know, he'd be our first-choice left-back, wouldn't he? Because obviously you've got Luke Shaw, that's our first choice left back. Terrell Molassia's back up to Luke Shaw. But revert back to when Telez was at Man United, he did enjoy a very difficult time. Uh, we actually got Telez from Porto back in 2020. Brandon Williams, I'm expecting him to leave in the summer. Another one that doesn't get in the team, he's a left back. Um, he was injured earlier on this season. Last season was out on loan with Norwich. Uh, Tom Eaton, I'm expecting Ten Hag to get rid of him in the summer. Uh, Tom Eaton is Manchester United's third choice goalkeeper. With obviously Man United getting Jack Butland in on loan. But at the time we brought Tom Eaton in, we brought him in as a backup to De Gea. 
we got Tom Eaton on a free transfer from Villa. <laughs> and Wan Bissaka, I'm expecting him to leave Man United in the summer. Um, and Wan Bissaka, he's not Manchester United's first choice right back. He hasn't been our first choice right back for quite some time. Diego Delors, Man United's first choice right back. Like I mentioned, the only reason Al Wan is playing at the moment is because Delors is unavailable through injury. Uh, Scott McTominay, I'm expecting him to leave in the summer transfer window. I actually wanted him to leave in January. Don't forget, Newcastle went in for McTominay in January. He said Man United wanted £30 million. McTominay is not one of Man United's first choice centre midfielders. You know, he lost his place in the team, obviously, when Casemiro and Christine Eriksen came in. Uh, McTominay is unavailable at the moment anyway through injury. Anthony Alanga, you know, I think he'll leave in the summer. Don't forget, um, towards the end of the January transfer window, Anthony Alanga received 10 offers. But obviously nothing came of it, he's still at Manchester United. Anthony Martial, he's another one who I think will leave in the summer. You know, Anthony Martial is out with injury at the moment. He's been hampered with injuries this season. You know, last season Martial was out on loan with Sevilla. He's under contract with Man United until 2024. Manchester United got Martial from Monaco back in 2015. So, Martial's been at the club for around eight years. So, there you go. You can see the progress Eric Ten Hag has made since he became Manchester United manager. You know, he's got us to the Carabao Cup final, more or less. <coughs> he's got us to the fifth round of the FA Cup. By the way, Man United play West Ham in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Got us into the top four in the league. And revert back to the start of this season. I did say Eric Ten Hag's expectations this season is to get Man United a top four finish. And there has been a lot of games this season where I do like the way Eric Ten Hag has approached them. But certainly Ten Hag is our best manager since Ferguson. You know, Eric Ten Hag, after the win against Reading, he said... Man United are building towards ending trophy drought. Ten Hag's made it clear that I want a trophy. Man United have not won a domestic trophy for six years. You know, last year, don't forget, Eric Ten Hag got named Premier League Manager of the Month. He's been the United manager for around 10 months now, got appointed in as the United manager in April last year. He is under contract with Man United until 2025. He's Man United's fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. Ten Hag obviously replaced Rangnick. Don't forget Ten Hag was the one that recommended Mitchell van der Gag and Steve McLaren in. Um... You obviously know the news regarding Surgeon Ratcliffe. Uh, Surgeon Ratcliffe cannot afford to buy United. Uh, Man United Chiefs said they're not convinced about Surgeon Ratcliffe's plans to buy Manchester United. He said 
So Jim Ratcliffe was planning a four billion bid. Uh, the Glazers are looking for what six billion. But Sir Jim Ratcliffe is Britain's richest man. He's the chairman of Ineos. But the club is aimed to be sold by the summer transfer window. Uh, last year, it said the Glazers are likely to sell entire shares of the club. <coughs> the Glazers have been a massive issue with the club for several years, and that explains why for several years, United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. The Glazers have owned Man United for, what, 17 years? They purchased the club for around... 800 million back in 2005. Uh, obviously, at United, you've got John Murtough, Richard Arnold. A while ago, Sir Alex Ferguson came back to Man United in an advisory role. We have Benny McCarthy at the club. Uh, you got Mitchell Van der Gag, Steve McLaren, like I've mentioned, Eric Ten Hag's the manager. You know, Manchester United have let five managers go since Sir Alex Ferguson. <clears throat> that were Moyes, Van Gaal, Mourinho, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Ralph Rangnick. In the last 10 years, Manchester United have spent over £1 billion so he spent a substantial amount. The last time Man United won the Premier League was back in 2013. That's 10 years ago. <laughs> so there, anyway, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always. And take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.